Well, hey there, it's Katherine Pooler from Katherine Pooler Designs. Welcome to this video hop. Thank you so much to Justine for arranging it for us, the Save the YouTuber hop. You have lots and lots of videos to hop along, get inspired by, and help support our YouTubing crafting community. So I'm just going to start diving right in and stamping while I chat with you guys. I'm using our brand new Doodle Garden background stamp, and this is actually being released on February 13th, 2018. And I am just inking it up with Versamark. I'm going to do the emboss resist technique. Justine suggested that we maybe try our favorite technique on the video, so that's what I'm doing. I love emboss resist. Do you guys know there's prizes along the way? Every single video is going to have two Catherine Pooler ink pads. Dun, dun, dun. To win on my video, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section and be a subscriber to my channel. So if you are not already a subscriber, just hit that subscribe button. Now that my Versamark is covering the whole stamp, I'm just going to add my white embossing powder. I'm gonna cover this entire stamped image. Tap off the excess. My favorite embossing powder is made by WOW, and I love it because it has an anti-static agent built in, and you don't have to use a powder or a, one of those anti-static removers with it. It's just already built in. So make sure you keep it in the original container, because if you move it from one container to another, it's going to pick up static from another container, and you don't want that. All right, so I'm gonna grab my heat tool, and I'm just going to heat it. It'll take a minute to heat up and turn that embossing powder to a liquid, and it'll turn shiny, and then we'll be able to do our fun technique. So we introduced our spa collection in November, and we premiered with eight ink colors. One of them was peppermint scrub, and now we are introducing the Zen Garden collection. So all of these ink colors are a muted, sophisticated color palette. They're all color coordinated to go together so that picking colors for your projects is really easy. We did all the hard work for you. You can see this rose petals is a very muted tone of pink. It's super fabulous. And then peppermint scrub coordinates with it beautifully and is a darker shade. So I'm gonna pick that up and I'm gonna um, start sponging on the other side. If you're not familiar with our inks, you can go to katherinepooler.com slash ink. You can learn all about it. Our inks blend beautifully because they stay wet for a few seconds and it gives you time to do the blending. All right, so now my ink blending is done and I'm gonna wanna grab a napkin because you can see my white embossing powder turned a little colored. I'm just gonna wanna wipe that down and get it nice and fresh and white and that design is really gonna pop and show through. And just quickly, because I can't help myself, I'm gonna show you just how it is to stamp with our inks. You see just two, uh, did you see that? Two or three little love taps. I have full coverage. These are foam inks. They transfer ink to a stamp perfectly. So when you stamp with them, you get a really full, beautiful, solid image. So now my gorgeous background is ready and I need a sentiment. So we have these two dies coming out, thanks in you. They were hand lettered by Shauna Klingerman. You guys are big fans of her hand lettering or her hand lettered sentiments. So we put her to work and had her do a bunch for us. And we have even more coming out in the future. So I'm just gonna use direct to paper. You can see how well you get matching coordinating cardstock with our ink pads. Now I do recommend having ink refills on hand because when you do techniques like this you're going to use a lot of ink from your ink pad and you're going to want to have that ink refill on hand to um, freshen up that ink pad. So I'm just making sure I have full coverage on all of the places where this is going to cut. So I have die cut my words. I have thanks and I have you. So you can use thanks all by itself or if you want to add the you you can just trim off that s. So here are my die cuts. I'm just gonna take my scissors and trim, trim off the S. Thank you. And if you want that to be a little bit darker so that it doesn't blend in so much to the card, you can just take your ink blending tool and dab your die cut on there. And you can leave it just like this and it kind of has a shaded look to it, which I think is really cool. Or you can press down and get a more even inking. Totally up to you. I have added liquid glue to the back of my die cut and I'm just going to add it to the front of the card. 
Make sure your work surface is clean and doesn't have any ink on it. And then you can turn it upside down and give it a little rub just to make sure that flattens out and your words adhere flat. Add a little bit of adhesive. We're gonna do our smoke and mirrors. This is our lighter gray cardstock from our smoke and mirrors set. And I think the gray looks unbelievable with the rose petals and the peppermint scrub. I did some other color combinations. So I did Mandarin Spice Polished Shea Butter and Sauna, and I did this one. And then I did Sugared Lavender and Royal Treatment, and look at how gorgeous that came out. And then how about some blues and greens? Stone Blue, Sea Foam, Skylight, and Daydream right here. Leave me a comment so you can be entered to win. Tell me what your favorite technique is. And two people on every single video here are going to win two of our ink pads. So we're really excited to celebrate this video hop with you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again soon. Have fun, you guys.